Happy to see you here on my channel, mathematics and really tricky challenge today, everyone make this mistake and of course let's solve this question together in this video. So we have 3 divided by 3 times 3 divided by 3. This is challenge you've ever seen because we don't have like a complicated expression, we don't have like square root, sine, cosine, we have only division and, and multiplication, so it looks like very easy challenge, everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. So right now pause the video, try to solve it by yourself, let's check our answers in the end of the video, it will be really interesting, just trust me and I give me be 90% that you solve this question absolutely absolutely wrong because this is very very tricky challenge okay I wanted to rewrite this question so we have 3 we have 3 divided by by 3 times 3 divided by 3 so here's our challenge and a lot of students don't know what we should do at first we should divide at first we should multiply at first we should divide right here on the right hand side and this is very important moment because in math we should know what is the correct order to do this problem what we should do at first we should we should divide at first we should multiply at first or we should divide right here on the right hand side and obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer right so we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem and for this for this answer let's look for for example, the this PMDMC order of operation. Doesn't matter what order of operation you select, there are a lot of different order of operations in the world, but I choose this one because this is the most popular order of operation. And let's solve this question according to this order of operation. This order of operation works from the top to the bottom, so first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses, then we should evaluate exponent, then we should evaluate multiplication division group, and the last step is addition and subtraction group. So let, right now let's go through the steps and let's apply this PMDMC to our, to our expression. So first of all we should uh, rewrite this expression, so we have 3 divided by 3 times 3 divided by 3. A lot of students solve this question like that, obviously, they say, okay, 3 divided by 3 on the left hand side we equal to 1, yeah, so right here we have 1, and we have 3 divided by 3 on the right hand side, which is equal to 1 as well, and 1 times 1 equal to, equal to 1, so a lot of students choose this option choose this option B and a lot of students say that correct answer is B. But as I told before, this is like a random, randomly solved right here, so we solve this question absolutely randomly. And right now let's solve this question according to this PMDMC order of operation. As I told before, we don't have parentheses, because obviously we don't have any brackets, so we can easily skip this part, we don't have any parentheses. What about exponents? Let's scan, maybe squares, cubes, force power, I don't see any of those, we have like a regular expression without any parentheses, so we just skip this exponent part as well. What about multiplication division group? Let's scan where do we have this multiplication division sign. Yeah, we have this division sign right here. Next to this we have multiplication, so we're interested in this. And the last step is division. So as you can see, we have only multiplication right here and division, division part. Multiplication division part. And if you look a little bit further, we have addition subtraction part, but we don't have any more addition and subtraction signs. So we just just skip this part. We don't have any of those. Okay, we complete this analyzing of this PMDMC. We have only multiplication and only division part. But what we should do at first, multiply or divide? A lot of students discuss about it, a lot of students arguing what we should do at first, but here's my answer. According to PMDMC, multiplication and division has the same priority. So we should do at first multiplication or division, doesn't matter what in what order but in a strict order from from left from left to right so from left to right this is our left hand side this is our right hand side so we should scan what is the first sign from left to right so from left hand side to to right hand side and doesn't matter multiplication division we only need to do this from left from left to right okay from left to right the first sign right here from left to right is this division so we should start from this division 3 divided by 3 equal to equal to 1 okay and we still have this expression so times 3 and divided by divided by 3. Okay, once more we have multiplication division part and right now what is the first sign from left to right? First sign from left to right is this one. In this case this is multiplication. So 1 times 3 equal to equal to 3. And we divide this 3 by 3. This is our last last step. 3 divided by 3 equal to equal to 1. And this is option B, so the same option B. And a lot of students confused about it, how, how can we solve this like that? Right here we have completely different solution, but in this case we have option B, and in this case we, we have option B, and what is the correct answer, this one or this one? And of course here's my answer, according to PMDMC, correct answer is, is this one, one 
and option option b but what about this solution this solution is is wrong solution but it happens sometimes that you solve this question absolutely wrong but you have correct answer it happens sometimes and this is exactly this this case because we as you as you can see right here we solve this question in a, in a randomly order we just do whatever we want we just divide right here divide right here which is really bad in terms of math with parentheses this question is is correct because we should start from this parentheses right here we have one and right here we have one so three divided by three one and three divided by three one and then correct answer is one option option b but with parentheses so with parentheses correct solution and correct answer is option b without parentheses this is wrong solution but a correct answer okay it happens sometimes so if you want to look at the correct solution and the correct uh, answer this is a correct solution and a correct answer is option b to this to this challenge so let's write our answer Correct answer to this challenge is is B. This is one. So thank you for your time. I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, you can write your suggestion into the comment section. You can watch my YouTube channel, have a ton of videos. So with that being said, wish you all the best. See you in the next videos. And thank you for your time.